Good morning. Uh, it is the last full day that I'm going to be here today, and I just want to take a few minutes to uh, pass on some of my personal thoughts and thanks to some people that uh, I've had the opportunity to interact with uh, while here in Wijambu. First off, uh, just a quick background from the Army. I came here for a year, uh, primarily, so my family could stay in place for education purposes, and that turned out to be a blessing both not only for my family back home, but also for the opportunity that I had while I was here in Wijambu, South Korea. Uh, since being here, I can honestly say this assignment has been one of the most impactful assignments I've had. Previously, I've done, uh, I've been to Iraq, Afghanistan, and Germany. And those were all interesting assignments, but has it changed me? Those didn't change me, these assignments uh, the assignment time that I've had here has, uh, I'll say it's greatly impacted me. Uh, you know, when, when I came here, I made a purposeful effort to, to get smart on uh, Korea and the people, and uh, I'd like to think I made a little bit of headway on that. Uh, my priorities were to get to know the people. Uh, being in the Army, the tendency is to stay on the base. I purposely pushed myself to get away from the base, in areas that I know and try to make friends with people. Uh, some of you may know this is a little bit difficult for me but uh, I think I've made a little headway. Now the Korean language proved to be a, a significant barrier uh, but some of the people were able to work around that including myself uh, and I think I developed some meaningful relationships although those relationships just for a short period of time while I'm here. Will we see each other in the future? I hope so. Uh, but even if I don't see them in the future, I'll definitely remember them and have fond memories of them. Uh, there's three things that uh, have impacted me. First, my job at 2nd Infantry Division. Uh, I worked with some great people. Uh, we were very focused, uh, had an important mission. Uh, it was very satisfactory. satisfactory. Then the people and then the church. Uh, talked a little bit about the people. Uh, while here, uh, I, I first went to the chapel on base, which is nice, but I, w I wanted to push myself away from the chapel. And then through a friend of mine at work, uh, Brian Day, uh, I made a connection here to Weijambu Baptist Church, which is probably about a half kilometer behind me. I'm out here, it's the morning, uh, along the river trail. Uh, people are out exercising, riding their bikes, some people are going to and from work. Um, Weijambu Baptist Church, I will just say this. I have been to a lot of churches. Uh, I move around a lot in the military. This is the first church that I can say. It is a well-run church. It is organized. They have a clear focus. Uh, the staff have a, the right mindset and heart and the right priorities. And the pastor, um, I'll say the pastor is on point uh, when it comes to his preaching and taking care of the church matters. This came evident to me. Uh, it was driven home, particularly on the Easter service. Uh, you know, generally in America, the Easter service is Christ is risen, um, and it, it's almost a, a, a victory celebration. Whereas here, Pastor Hoffman was driving home the point: Yes, Christ is risen. But he wrote. He has risen for a purpose, and that purpose was for us. And now we, as Christians, we need to stay focused and spread the gospel so that the blessings of a risen Christ can be passed on to other people. That's what it's all about. It's not just the, a first level, yes, a victory of Christ has risen, but how does that impact us? And what does that drive us to do? And what does that drive our priorities? Uh, for me, the focus has been being a better Christian, having a, a disciplined uh, time of prayer, a disciplined time of uh, reading the Bible. Have I been great at it? No. Uh, could I be better? Yes. Uh, now, when I leave here, what is what is my takeaway? My takeaway is I need to stay focused. Uh, get rid of some of the lesser important things. Keep it simple. What are our priorities? keeping a Christ-centered life, making meaningful, meaningful 
uh, relationships and having an impact on the people we work with throughout the day, not only at work, but in church and outside church in the social environment as well. I want to, um, I want to say thanks to a few people uh, that I came across while here. Uh, most of them are associated with the, the church. Uh, che, Brother Che, who's a very, he's a teacher there. I've, uh, I've been very impressed with him. Uh, he seems to be, uh, he's doing a great job. Uh, limited interaction with him, uh, but I developed some friendship with him. Uh, with the Yoon Song, had an opportunity to have lunch with him uh, last week, and it's, it was a great time of fellowship. Uh, it's, it's good to get to know him, he's a, he's a dentist. Kim, who, uh, Brother Kim, who's a, uh, who's a financial guy, he's a very interesting person. Um, language, a little bit of a problem there. I would have liked to get to know him better as well. Some of the Americans at the church. Uh, Britton, he's a young soldier. Uh, his heart is in the right spot. I see, uh, I see good things for his future. I, I certainly wish him the best, uh, whether he stays in the army or gets out of the army and goes into the ministry. Joe, who's, a, who's an American uh, missionary serving here in Korea. And then obviously the, the Hoffman family. His wife, uh, Pastor Hoffman himself, uh, his kids, uh, and his new daughter-in-law, you know, who's, make, who's making a big transition here in Korea. Uh, those people have all been uh, impactful to me. There's been other people as well who uh, I've talked with on and off in the church, uh, and even some of the older people who don't speak English, and obviously I don't speak Korean, uh, but just with the common gestures and the body language, uh, I've gone out of my way to show their, my appreciation to them. Uh, things that I was hoping for, you know, to develop a friendship, I think with the language being a barrier, um, I, I've taken it as far as I can take it during this year. If I was here longer, I'd have the opportunity to focus on learning the language a little bit more, uh, and maybe building those connections. But my time here, it's time to go back to Omaha, Nebraska, which, um, which is a blessing in itself to be back with my family. So in conclusion, thank you to the people of Wijimbu Baptist Church, op allowing your church to be opened up to me uh, and some other Americans to come in. From the bottom of my heart, I say thank you. I also want to say thank you to the people at 2nd Infantry Division, and uh, also thank you to the people of this great country, South Korea. I think you're heading in the right direction. I think you've got a bright future.